Добро пожаловать! Welcome to the Naldic ICT and EAL vodcasts. In this 10 part series, you will learn practical approaches to using ICT to support learners of English as an additional language. Welcome to the Naldic ICT and EAL vodcasts. Program 3 Digital Storytelling Part 2. In this program, we'll learn how to create a digital story using free software called Microsoft Photo Story. A digital story can be created from photographs, they can be sequenced and given different kinds of effects. Text can be typed onto each photograph and an oral recording can be attached. Finally, the whole story can be exported as a movie. With digital stories, it is the collaborative nature of the work that is so supportive of EAL learners. Use of multimedia is important, oracy forms a natural link to literacy, and the visual and kinesthetic nature of role play helps make meaning more explicit. Use of first language can be another key theme in digital storytelling. In one school, the focus for digital storytelling was on welcoming new arrival pupils to the school. Using children's rights as a theme, many groups used role play, and one group chose to use paintings on their rights respecting wall. Having installed the software, the first step is to begin a new story. This is the preview area. Imported photographs will appear in this area. The next step is to choose the photographs you want in your story. You can import several photographs all at once. Hold down the control key as you click each photograph. When finished, click OK. Your pictures will appear here and are ready to be sequenced. You should save a photo story project often, so you can return to it later. The project is a snapshot of all the changes you have made, but the final movie will not be available till you export it. Now you can start sorting out your imported photographs. You can delete those you do not want, and you can change the order that they will appear by left-clicking and dragging them to the required position. You can also use these tools here. You can type directly onto any photograph and you can change the position both horizontally and vertically. You can also change the text font and colour. You can also paste in any text from the clipboard including characters from other scripts so you can include different languages. One of the best features of Photo Story is the ability to create animated effects. For example, you can make it look as if the camera is zooming in and out on a photograph. To do this, you set the beginning and end points of the motion. Then you set how long you want the movement to happen for. The collaborative discussion involved in this kind of task will really help EAL learners. The specific visual effects will also help support the thread of the oral narrative. When you are happy with all the different effects you have set for each photograph, you can then go back and preview how it looks.
Collaborative group work allows EAL learners to hear repetitive language used in a real context, e.g. directional language, and words like zoom, pan, back, next, etc. The oral element to the digital story can be recorded directly into photo story. EAL learners can use English, first language, or a combination of both. Children have the right to use their customs of their family. Each child has the right to be happy. You can also prepare the whole narration outside photo story and then put it together in audacity. This can be more flexible but it may be more difficult to match the timings of the oral and visual elements together. Once you have prepared your oral narration, you can bring it into Photo Story by selecting Music and use this as an oral narration track. The last thing to do is export the project as a movie file. There are different options to explore here, depending on whether you want to use the movie on a computer or perhaps on the internet.